is the VBA code for sum ifs or let me say how to sum in Excel basis on multiple conditions using VBA programming. So first of all, let's check how we can use sum ifs manually. Here on this sheet, I have data from column A to column D. This data is serial number just for indexing. Column B is product name. Column C is city. In column D, I have quantity. Now here, from column F to H, here I have used just two rows. So product name, I have written as football. City, Delhi. Total quantity, this I want to calculate. Now what I will do, I will use some ifs with two conditions. So let's see how we can use some ifs with formula first. I'll click on this function button and I'll select some ifs function. First box is for some range, so I'll select column D. Criteria range 1. So I want column B as first range, and in this range, I want to check product name as football, which is in cell F2. So criteria 1, I will select F2 cell, and for criteria 2, I will select column C and criteria cell G2. So this is how we can use manual sum ifs. Once I click OK, total is coming out as 70. So basically what is happening? Football is being searched in column B and city as Delhi. I am searching in column C and some range is column D. So this is what we can do using some ifs manually. But if I delete this and I want to automate this, I want to write VBA code that should be doing the same task. So you can see that I have command button here. I have already written VBA code. Once I click on this command button, it is doing the same task. So let's see. What is the VBA code that I have used for this task? So I'll go to developer tab, click on design mode. Then I'll double click on this command button to view the code or you can press Alt F11 also. So this is the VBA code. Let me delete this code and write this code again and explain it. So first of all, I will declare three variables. First dim product name as a string then dim city as a string third variable dim total underscore quantity as long we can give any name to these variables it is on your choice now i'll assign values to these three variables so let's say total underscore quantity equal to zero so i have initialized total quantity as zero now product name So this product name I want to use, let me go to Excel sheet, the value which is in F2. So I write here product name equal to worksheets, then sheet name is sheet1 or whatever is the sheet name where we have data dot cells. Here it is row number 2, column is F. So we have value as football 
but cell is F2. So here I'll write row number 2 and column is F that means 6 dot value. Same I'll do with city, city equal to, let me copy this. On Excel sheet, city is in G2. So row number is same. Column is G, that means 7. Now, next is, I want to check the last filled row basis on column A or first column. So for that, I'll write code last row equal to worksheets then sheet name dot cells now here I want to specify row and column but I don't know the total filled rows so I'll use here rows dot count and column I want to check values in column A that is first column dot and in brackets excel up dot row so this will identify what is the last filled row basis on first column that is column a now i'll use loop that will run from second row to last row for i equal to 2 to last row and end statement of for loop which is next within this for loop I have two conditions let me go to Excel sheet first condition is product name should be football that we have already assigned to variable city should be Delhi or cell G2 that we have already assigned to variable as well let me delete this value so I am going to write if condition here within for loop if worksheets sheet 1 dot cells row will be calculated or will be considered using looping variable so here I will pass on i comma 2 dot value equal to product name this product name will come from where from this variable where we have assigned value and second condition is worksheets sheet 1 dot cells i comma 3 third column where we have city dot value equal to city this city is also coming from this variable then then what we want we want total quantity equal to total quantity plus worksheets sheet 1 dot cells and where we have quantity in column 4 so i comma 4 dot value I'll close this if condition and if so whichever row will satisfy these two conditions then 
that amount or the quantity will be added now outside the for loop or in the next line i will write the result where in h2 so for that code is worksheets sheet 1 dot cells so here row number is 2 column is h that means 8 dot value equal to total underscore quantity and then once task is done I want to select first cell or A1 for that code is worksheet sheet 1 dot cells first row first column that is A1 dot select so this is the simple VBA code that we can utilize to work for some ifs or to calculate total based on multiple criteria or conditions so let's check if this code is working i'll click on design mode to come out of design mode now when i click on this command button we can see total is calculated and we are getting value as 70 which is same that we calculated using some ifs formula now let's check this with different product name and city so if i write here instead of football if i say skates city let me write pune then i click so it is 120 so let's cross check i'll apply filter skates i'll select in city let me select only pune so we can see total is coming out as 120 let me show the code again So this is how we can automate sum ifs function using VBA code and we can sum with multiple criteria automatically. You can practice this code. If you have any question around this topic, you can write into comments or you can send me email. You can subscribe to my channel to get notifications for new tutorials. Thank you.